A good morning. I am Penny Nelson, Providence Soapery, 62959. And uh, I was going to try to do, I am going to do, um, this is the bracelet I always wear on my, I don't know how bright that is. I was going to try to do it in three minutes. Good morning. I love you. I'm glad you're here. Um, I'm actually doing this for my friends, the Flaming Bullets. And I always on my bracelet wear a this. And I was going to explain it to you and I was going to try to do it quickly. So we'll do it as, as fast as Penny can. Okay, I wear this bracelet hoping that someone will ask me about it so that I can share the gospel. So I can share the gospel. And the gospel is Jesus is the Son of God. Jesus is the Christ. He's the Creator. He came in a flesh. He's the Messiah. Okay, so to get to that, to share the gospel, we have several concepts here, or truths actually, and accounts. So what we're going to start with, which this is elastic, clear elastic. Okay, and I like to cut a generous piece. Okay, and we this represents the truth. You have, it has to be hinged on the truth. Truth is not positional. It already is something. So that's the first, first concept. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Okay, then we have two silver beads. Okay, one represents the beginning of your life, and the other one represents the end of your life. When you were born, you were a person, the person, inside of a body, and that was together. A lot of people misunderstand. They think because they're in a body that they are a body. Your body is only for this earth. It's called an, it's an earth suit. That's what I call it, and it has a limited existence. This is a black bead and it's a lava bead because I like to put a little essential oils on there. Black <clears throat> represents sin. You always start with sin. Sin is always the first thing. You always got to deal with sin. You always got to deal with sin. So that represents sin. The Bible says all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Are you a sinner? Backing up just a minute, this represents your birthday and death day. Everybody's going to have both. And in the middle, you're going to have a small dash <laughs> on your tombstone if somebody can pay for one. Okay, so the first thing, and I'll, I usually ask, do you understand that you are a sinner? So there's a lot of ways you can go with that, but we're trying to do three minutes, which is hysterical. Okay, the red represents the payment for sin, okay? The only thing that can pay for your sin that can actually make you clean <clears throat> is a blood sacrifice, and there's all kinds of things to go with it. Somebody has to pay for your sin. The payment for sin, it's just so many concepts. I'm sorry, it's not going to be short. Um, once you understand that you're a sinner, <clears throat> Then you understand that you are in need of a savior, okay? You cannot save yourself. <laughs> Good luck if you... Actually, you're going to need more than luck. You're going to get consequences if you try to save yourself. You can't pay the price. Okay, so the red stands for the blood of Jesus, which pays for sin. And I always like to mention repentance. Repentance. That's what I love somebody said. That. It's not a trial offer. You surrender your whole life to Jesus. He gave his whole life, and you give your whole life. Okay, so the only color, con and I'm sure I should have a scripture reference here. Okay, so after the blood of Jesus, so then I like to review. Do you understand you're a sinner? Do you understand Jesus paid for your sin? Have you accepted it, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. After the black and the red comes the white. This is the only color combination where something is black and staining and ruining and horrible mixed with red makes white, okay? And Jesus actually cleans you. 
and makes you as white as snow because he makes you something, it's actually something different. He gives you a new life. He gives you a new heart and it wasn't there before, okay? So although your sins be as scarlet, you can be as white as snow. And sin is sin. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you're a murderer. I mean, God can change you. He can actually change you. Okay. So then I usually review that. Are you sure that you've been cleansed? How do you know? Question, question, question. And then I wait for your answer, which is always hard. So you could pause it and put your comment. How do you know? That you're clean how do you know that you've been cleansed okay after those things have happened then the blue stands for new life new life you have to have a new life you have to have a new spirit you have to have something that you don't have it has to be something alive that's what being born again is you have to be born of god's spirit you didn't have that before you were dead so the blue stands for new life it's something new his life, eternal life. And then how do you know you have it? Okay, so after that, then green stands for growth. My scripture reference probably should be the born again thing and there's there's lots of new life ones. And Okay, so green is growing. Okay, you have to continue to grow. Your physical body grows. You grow um, intellectually. You grow spiritually. You grow, so you, um, mentally, okay, so, so spiritually, how can you grow, okay? First of all, you would need to talk to the creator. <laughs> talk to him and ask him. He's actually able to show you what you need to do, okay? So, prayer, and then after you pray, that's talking. It's communication. Two things to communication, talking and listening, talking and listening, okay? You talk to God and then you listen and you ask ask him. You listen. To, it's a personal relationship. It's not a religion. It's a relationship. God will speak to you through his word and through other things. And it always has to agree with the Bible. It has to go with the Bible, the whole counsel, the whole thing. You can't take it out of context. That's why you have to study it. So reading the word is how you know because he doesn't con he does not contradict himself. He does not change. He is the same, and he left us help. He left us the Holy Spirit, who is him, and he left us his word. And we, in America, have you probably have three copies at least in your possession. So much for three minutes, huh? Short. Okay, so... Then your whole life you spend growing and learning, because you're never going to be done. Because you're not perfect and you never will be. Although you are a child of God if you have accepted, he actually changes you. Yellow stands for um, eternity. When you die, you are going to face the judgment. We all will. We're all going to face the judgment. You will give an account for your life. The decisions that you have made, either voluntarily or involuntarily, you are going to give account. Judgment Day is coming, but you don't have to fear Judgment Day because your judge took your place. He actually is your advocate and your lawyer, and you're guilty in the first place. You can't stand there. You can't be there. So once you've accepted that, you've accepted the, the offer, which you can't even accept it unless he is drawing you to accept it. It's very circular. Okay. This world is not where we're supposed to be. This world is, is a temporary stopover. Eternity is, is with him. That's the whole point. This is just a testing ground. We're going to be heaven. The, goal, the, the point of this is the gold in heaven, the eternal imperishable quality, okay? This life is full of suffering. You get to suffer here. Jesus suffered. He showed us how to suffer. I mean, but we get joy in this life and in the next life, okay? But this life is just going to be like, do you remember kindergarten? This whole life, this 80, 90, 100, 110, 120 years that you may or may not get, you may or may not have today, it's going to be nothing to you. 
All that matters is knowing him and him knowing you. So that's what scripture references. I have gone to prepare a place for you if it were not true. Now, actually, this one should go next, but that would not match, right? So this last one is a new one that I just um, heard about. It's a clear bead. So I like that. I'm adding it. And that is, see, in, in the end, you're going to see things clearly. We don't, under, we don't get to understand things. And then that brings us to faith. <laughs> you walk by faith and not by sight. You, you're not going to understand. It's okay if you don't. Your life ends. Your physical body, your earth suit has a limited existence. Who you are, your name, your birthday, the person that you are, the one who looks out of the eyes in your flesh is going to live forever. So that's where I ask the question. This is where you give the question. Would you surrender to Christ now? Would you make him your boss and savior? Are you ready for eternity if you were to die? Your earth suit was to die. Do you have fear? Are you scared of dying? Are you scared of judgment? We all ought to be. You think you're going to um, go in and, and, and make a case? You're not. You're going to give answers.